Hi again everyone, welcome back. Uh, so for this video we'll be using StackCrunch to help us get our critical values for our hypothesis testing. Okay, so here we go. Here is my hypothesis. So the, um, <clears throat> the critical values we'll get based on the alternative hypothesis here. So because the alternative hypothesis has a not equal to sign, it's actually going to be a two-tailed test. Okay, so here we have a population standard deviation. That's how we know it's a Z. So we'll need a normal calculator. So that's the stat calculator's normal. Now, because stat crunch can't do outside, we'll have to do between. <clears throat> okay, because the uh, the critical um, values are actually in the tails. Okay, so um, for the z, what we'll do is we'll leave the mean zero, standard deviation at one, and instead of using our alpha here, we'll actually do one minus alpha and put that here. Okay, then I'll click on compute. And these are my two critical values. So again, the rejection region are in the, are always in the tails. So for a two-tail test, that's what we'd have to do. For a one-tail test, it's actually a, a bit simpler. Let me look up a problem here. See, um, for this one, it's a one-tail test, and the uh, the direction follows the alternative hypothesis. So for this one, because it's a one-tail test, we'll go back to standard here, and we want to match this sign up. So this is greater than, so I'll change this here. And again, we're doing, we have a population standard deviation, so that's how we know it's a Z, so I'm staying on my normal calculator here. And this time, because it's only one-tailed, I can use alpha. So I'll put in alpha here. And that's my critical value there. It's not listed on the problem here, but... So this would be our critical value, and that's the rejection region. Alright, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for my next one.